This portion of CardioSource Video News is supported by the makers of Zarelto. I'm Peter Block here at ACC Chicago 12 for CardioSource Video News, and I'm sitting here with Dr. Emerson Perrin from Texas. Emerson, you and I have been talking about the FOCUS trial, another stem cell trial. So, Give me the short version, the nuts and bolts of what FOCUS shows us. Well, the very abbreviated version of this trial is that it was a NHLBI sponsored trial at five sites which constitute the cardiac cell therapy research network. And it was a randomized double-blinded trial injecting autologous bone marrow cells transendocardially into the left ventricle at sites of hibernating ischemia. And the three endpoints, which were in decrease in systolic volume, MVO2, and decrease in reversibility by spec, were not significant between both of the groups. Oh my goodness. So my reaction to that is, oh my goodness, yet another negative stem cell trial. When are we going to stop doing this? I mean, is this crazy stuff, or what did you actually, what do you think about that? No, not at all. We actually are very excited with this trial because we found some very exciting things. First of all, left ventricular ejection fraction was significantly different between treatment and control across the trial. Um, that wasn't a pre-specified primary endpoint, but in cell therapy, sometimes we don't even know what endpoints to pick, so this is helping us. You should have picked that one. There you go. <laughs> um, another thing is that when we looked at age, the younger half of the cohort did significantly better in terms of left ventricular ejection fraction, had an increase of 4.7%. And then we saw specific cell types, CD133 cells, CD34 cells, associated with significant benefit in ejection fraction. And then yet another evaluation of cells, is just cell function, ability to grow colonies, ECFC, that was associated with a significant improvement in MVO2. So mm -hmm. we're learning to pick out the subsets of these autologous uh, therapies because there's a lot of sick patients that have worse bone marrows and we have to find out who's going to benefit, and this is really pointing us in the right direction. So it sounds to me like this is going to be a trial that gives you information for further trials. You're still gathering information, I'm sure, as you go forward. Ultimately, it always comes down to me, anyway, to selection of patients, and that's really what you're saying, and which patients benefit the best from specific kinds of therapies that you're developing. Fair enough? Fair enough, but it's selection of patients, but we might be able to also select cells, and then we also might be able to tweak cells and, and find out what we need to do to give the right product to make people better when we're dealing with heart failure. Thanks, Emerson. So there you have it. It looks like stem cells are still ongoing, and we'll have to see how things go forward as people like Emerson learn more about it. Thank you, Emerson. Thank you.